sticky kind of knife. I like it because it's got a certain kind of character to it that suggests sitting in a field somewhere, chopping up lumps of brie and all the rest of it. Opening your bottle of wine. I find it quite hard to get motivated to make knives like liner locks and the kind of thing that people might be tempted to go and fight with. Yeah. Much yeah. as I love the mechanical side of getting those to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a charm to slip joint knives where they don't lock. It yeah. requires a certain amount of commitment from the person that's using it and if they can't figure it out they deserve to get the fingers cut. <laughs> and you can see it with these knives that Grace has got. The way it's been slimmed down the handle encourages you to hold it in a way that it enables you to twist and change the angle. And that's great, but I've always wanted to have a knife with a quite beefy pivot area so that you've got a nice chunky region to grip right. so it's much more stable in terms of flex. If you look at that one, it's yeah. all over the place. If I make that any tighter with its little screw fitting, it won't close. Mm. Yeah. The downside, and I'll probably mm. go on to that later, is the bigger the pivot gets, yes, you get more stability that way, mm. but you've built more friction into it, so you still need more spring tension to get it to work, because okay. yeah. it's a bigger area. Mm. But one avenue I've always wanted to explore with knives is making them look graceful, open and shut. Yeah. You see a lot of really, really well-made knives that have this glaring <laughs> feature of a, the end of the blade notch. Most of the time, people are handling them, they, they fold it up and they just grown up worry beads, that kind of mm. thing, mm. and that yes. gets in the way of that. Mm. That's something I've, I've tried to address in the shape of handles that protect the end of the spine. It all ties into, it's like an equation, things that you vary and balance. Just adjusting one thing to cure that will have mm. a knock-on effect right the way down mm. to the mm. end. Um, I always start by trying to define the curve along the handle into the blade. I don't have a specific use for these blades in mind, it's general purpose, so it doesn't need to be, you know, like a clipped point, sorry, deep and broad for skinning bison, and that's for getting the, the teeth out or whatever they do with it. <laughs> so, you know, it's this lovable pocket object, so getting that curve to not mirror, but sit well with whatever happens underneath, mm, mm. that's the first part.